Hey guys, welcome back to Mama Dubay. I'm Shelby and I make videos all about motherhood and lifestyle. Hi. I am a stay at home mom. Mom. Look. To a two year old little boy. Baby. Say hi. Hi. Okay, let mommy talk, please. I am a stay at home mom to a two and a half year old little boy, and I am 33 weeks pregnant with our second child, a little girl. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing more nesting with you. This is probably my third and final nesting video. I'm probably gonna try to make it a bit of a collage of basically all of the things that I get done before baby girl comes. We've got six weeks or less before my scheduled C-section, so I could obviously go into labor and have the baby earlier, but one of the things that I wanted to do is reorganize this pantry, and it's not that bad, but it needs a little bit of work. And I just got back from the grocery store, which is partially why I'm out of breath, also just being pregnant, I guess. But I have a bunch of like dry groceries to put away, and I'm really just gonna kind of throw them in there until I have a chance to reorganize that pantry. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other little projects that I'm planning on getting done, so just stay tuned for a couple of weeks of me trying to clean and scrub and, you know, get all the itty gritty things that I that are bothering me cleaned. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Line. Time to clean out the pantry and am I wearing the same clothes? No, because it's not the same day. It's a couple of days after I brought all those groceries home and said I was going to clean out the pantry. But I am going to do it today. So I've got myself a nice little chair to sit in because this is starting to cause some pain down here and I've already done some work in the garden this morning and all of that so anyway let's just get busy I'm gonna take everything out of this pantry and set it on the ground so let's do it
today. I'm going to start with, with sanitizing and cleaning bottles and my pump parts and things like that. So while I'm doing this, I'm also thinking ahead to different little baskets I'm planning on having. So I know that in the living room, I'm going to want to have a basket that has like my haka. And I actually bought this thing called an LV Curve. It's the, it's kind of like a haka. It just kind of catches your let down. So this is gonna be my pumping basket. It's gonna go in the living room. Um, and ultimately I'm gonna have my haka. I'm gonna have my vitamin D drops. Um, I know I'm gonna have some of these little bottles to catch milk in. And this little glass jar, I'm planning on putting some coconut oil in because I like to use coconut oil instead of like nipple creams. I have my Avent bottle drying rack out because it's really important to make sure that there's no moisture left in your bottles before you put them away so that if you do close them up, you're not keeping any moisture inside. You don't want mold. And these are all of my new, I've got four Tommy Tippy bottles and one small Dr. Brown bottle. I'm also going to go ahead and fill this little jar up with coconut oil um, and this will go in baby girl's room so that I have it in there if I'm doing night feeds or anything like that. So I like to sanitize my brand new stuff and my not brand new stuff that's already been sanitized, I might dip in it, dip in the boiling water, but I will most likely end up putting those in the dishwasher, run them through, and call that a day. So let's get busy. Hey guys, so it is many days later and I thought I would update you on all of the things that I have done nesting wise around here. Today is Sunday. It is the day before the appointment um, that I find out, I get another ultrasound and I find out what's going on with the baby, if there's any extra fluid or if we're going to change the date of my C-section. So I'm 36 weeks pregnant, which is a week before full term and um, I don't really know what to expect tomorrow. So I wanted to get as much done as possible by then. I also put this little bouncer together. So that's ready to go. And then over here, this is still kind of a work in progress, but um, I received my pump in the mail. This is the Independence uh, Free Me pump. But I went ahead and put the changing pad on here for the baby. And this is all of Lucas's diaper stuff. I need to go through it and like get it ready so that baby girl has some diapers in there as well. And then also today, my husband is going to put the car seat in the car. 
I have my bag packed. The baby's bag is packed. We don't, I don't think anything's gonna happen tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna like have the baby tomorrow, but um, I do think it's a little too early. And anyway, if you see me rubbing my eyes, I just woke up from a nap. But yeah, we're doing things like washing all of the pillowcases on the couch and all the blankets and just kind of like last minute things to make sure that we're good to go if baby decides to make an early appearance. Hey guys, so it is quite a few days later. Yesterday was my appointment where I got my ultrasound done. I'm 36 weeks pregnant now and it was the appointment where I found out what my levels were, if I had polyhydramnios, not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but um, I will update you on that in a different video. It's probably gonna come out before this one. But I wanted to show you the nesting that I have been doing since I found out that things might change with my C-section. So I have a few baskets here. And in these baskets are basically like postpartum prep. So in this one, this one will go downstairs because I am planning on sleeping on the couch for the first week or so until I am comfortable enough with going up and down the stairs uh, pretty regularly. Um, I plan on having a bassinet by the couch. This is what I did with Lucas and it worked out really well. So this basket will go under the sink um, in the bathroom down here. So the bathroom down here is not a shower. It's not a full bath. It just has a toilet and all of that. Obviously I'll go upstairs to take showers, but, um, I've got a peri bottle from Lucas's birth. I'm going to get another one for my other basket. I've got a little bit of uh, leftover mesh underwear. I personally like the mesh underwear. I feel like it's more comfortable, um, as a C-section mama. And then I have a variety of pads in here, just different levels. And I know that I will be bringing home a bunch of really big ones from the hospital. So I'll be adding that to this basket as well. And that's really all of the postpartum care for myself that I anticipate needing. This one will go upstairs in the bathroom. Um, basically the kids' bathroom. And in here are a bunch of different varieties of pads again, and I'll be adding mesh underwear and another peri bottle that I bring home from the hospital to this one. Okay, so that is my postpartum care. And then here is a little nursing basket. And in this basket, I have a variety of things and I'll show you what they are. First off, I have, sorry if the lighting in here is terrible, I have yellow tinted lighting and I, yeah. Um, these are just little nursing pads because when you first start breastfeeding, your milk is very unregulated. I did order some bamboo reusable ones, so this will be the only box that I go through like this and after that I'll be using the reusable ones. I have some D drops in here because baby needs vitamin D when you're nursing. Um, and I often think of things when I'm sitting down nursing. So I just thought it'd be more convenient to have it in this little basket. This is coconut oil. And this is what I use um, instead of like nipple creams one scrunchie, I'll probably put a few more in here. I'll also be adding chapstick to this one. Um, I don't know what it is, but when you're nursing, you feel dehydrated and thirsty and major chapped lips. So another sad thing is that I have misplaced my LV Curve, which is a, so it's like a little manual pump and I bought it, but I think I misplaced it and it's not in this house anymore because I can't find it. But this is my Hakka in my butter beer mug from Universal Studios. <laughs> I have my Hakka. So a little hack that I have for you if you use a Hakka is to have a little cup to set it in because when it's full, if you don't have the stand, um, 
it can fall over pretty easily and you know there's nothing good about spilled breast milk <laughs> so anyway I have that in here and I'm just keeping it in this bag to keep dust out of it for now I have this little bottle of lotion it was a sample from probably Target or something like that it's just a daily lotion because again if I'm sitting down nursing a lot of times I notice that's when my hands are dry or something like that and I find it very convenient to put this right there when I'm stuck to the couch <laughs> so and then also I have all of these um, burp cloths I love these little muslin ones I'll just show you I just bought a new eight pack so I've split this between this basket and the other basket um, that's upstairs that I will show you it's in baby girl's room hey baby hi can you say hi no okay well let mama let mama finish talking okay um but I do have one little muslin blanket I want that to be convenient on this floor just in case company comes over so I can cover up if I need to and these are just other muslin uh other muslin burp cloths. So this is the nursing basket that's going to go by the couch. And then over here, this will be also on this floor. I need to add my newest breast pump to it, but it's just a basket with my breast pump in it. Um, there's some more breast pads in there. Um, I'm not planning on pumping at first, but this is just where I'm storing everything. There's some extra milk bags in there. Um, teething rings, I don't anticipate needing those at first. This is what I've got. So I'm gonna head upstairs and show you real quickly the nursing basket that's up there. It's very similar to this one. I've got nursing pads, disposable ones. I've got lotion. The same little sample bottle that's downstairs. I've got some chapstick. Um, eventually I'll be sleeping on the bed that's right here. So um, all of this will be conveniently right next to the bed. Some coconut oil um, for chapped nipples. Again, I have vitamin D in the basket. Um, once I'm up and mobile, th this will probably go in the baby's cabinet um, in the kitchen. I have tons of these muslin birth cloth <laughs> I have tons of these muslin burp cloths um, they're just my favorite ones so I have this size from when I had Lucas so I've used these even since I had Lucas but they're all clean now for baby and then um, these were hand-me-downs but I thought they were so cute they're just those little um, reusable diapers in a cute little print so they're absorbent and I'm keeping those and then like I said I got a new pack of eight I'll link them down below in the description box this is just like a basic I'm very simple and to the point when it comes to a lot of things so I just tried to keep it um, to the basics and also right here is another muslin blanket um, I may use it for swaddling I may use it I'm not sure, but I know that it's also great for a burp cloth if you need a bigger one to soak things up. Another convenient thing to have in your little nursing station, and I have one of these downstairs too where the nursing station will be, is this little Himalayan salt lamp because, I don't know if you can tell, yeah, you can dim it, but it's a very low light, so if you get up with the baby to feed, you just turn it on low. And it doesn't really bring too much light into the room so baby should stay sleepy um, and not be woken up with a bright light so yeah that is that is the nesting that I've done that I'm going to show you in this video but I hope you did enjoy today's video and if you did don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already I would love for you to join my community and I will see you guys in the next one.